Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java print writer class with the help of examples so guys the print writer class of the java io package can be used to write output data in a commonly readable form that is text so basically you can use the print writer class in order to write some text in an external file now let us check the working of a print writer so unlike other writers print writer converts the primitive data that is integer float characters etc into the text format so whatever integers or float values you have or the array of characters that you want to store in a external file you can convert them into a text format which is done by the print writer class and then after converting it writes that formatted data to the writer now guys we will check some of the important methods of the print print writer the very first method is print which prints the specified data to the writer the next one is the print ln which prints the data to the writer along with a new line character at the end so in case you want the next statement to be present on the new line so you can use the print ln statement we can also use the printf method which will be used to print the formatted string so guys let us check this with the help of examples now in the eclipse ide so over here we will first create the object for a print writer class so as you can see print writer is being suggested by eclipse id over here and then let's say we provide the object name as pw followed by new and then we have print writer constructor over here so as you can see there are multiple constructors over here we are going to use the third constructor which is going to take the file name as the string as the parameter so over here we will provide inside the double quotes we will have to provide the entire path where we want to create the file so as you can see we have two files over here java tutorial is one file and another file is a test file now we are going to create a third file by using our print writer class so i will copy this directory path over here and paste this inside the double quotes and then followed by the name of the file so after double backslashes i will provide output dot txt this is the name of the file guys so this new file will be created in this directory path that we saw just now and then at the end we will provide the semicolon now guys as you can see we are getting a red underline over here that's because we need to handle the unhandled exception so i'll just select the first option that is add throws declaration over here now guys let us say i want to add one line over here in the output dot txt file so i will use this object that is pw followed by dot and then i will use the first method that we have seen that is print now as you can see there are multiple print methods which is called as method overloading that's because it is having the same name but the parameters that it is going to take is different it can be an integer it can be a float as well it can be the array of characters as well so guys what we are going to provide is we are going to provide the string so over here i will say this is first line in external file full stop so guys this line we are going to store in an external file and then guys after this we have pw dot close method in order to close the stream this becomes very important in order to save the memory while you are running your programs now guys before running this file i will provide another statement which will be on the console so i'll provide system dot out dot print ln method over here and i'll say file return successfully so guys over here this statement will be printed on the console and not in the file that's because we are providing it on the system as you can see it is system dot out dot print ln which will print the statement on the console and not in the external file now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we have got the confirmation file return successfully now if we go in the directory path as you can see the output file is created over here and if i open this as you can see this is first line in external file and that is what we had written in our code so as you can see this is the one that is using the print method we had written something over here now guys let us say i want to add another line so what i will do is i'll just copy this and paste this over here and i'll change the content of this line that is this is another line and then we have full stop now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see file returns successfully 
and then if I go in this directory and open this file so as you can see this is first line in external file and then we have this is another line now guys one thing if you notice both the statements are continuous over here and it is on the same line so after the end of the first line over here after this dot the second statement is continuing on the same line so what if we want this second statement to be present on the second line in the notepad file so what we can do is we can use the print ln method instead of print so over here when you type print ln so if I put print ln over here, as you can see this print ln method is another method which will make the control flow go to the next line. So what will happen is this first line will be printed now and when the second print that is this particular print is encountered, the control flow will be on the second line. So let me just save this file and try running this code now to see what happens. So as you can see file written successfully, I'll go over here, I'll open the output file. As you can see now the second statement is on the second line that is this is first line in external file after this the control flow goes to the second line that's because we have used the print ln for this statement to be printed in our notepad file that is the external file and the second print method is making this statement that is the second method to be printed on the second line so guys in this way we can either use print or print ln method in order to print the statements now guys i'll make this method as well as print ln because we are going to use another method that is printf in order to print a formatted string so guys when this printf will be used so basically let's say if i use this object name that is pw followed by dot and then we have something called as printf so as you can see there are two printf methods over here we are going to use the first method that is going to take the first parameter as a string and second parameter as the one of the arguments that we are going to provide to the string so over here i'll say the string is my age is percent d now guys this percent d meaning it is an integer that you are going to provide as the second argument it can be percent f as well which will represent a float value it can also be percent s which will represent a string value so based on your requirement you can provide the required format over here and this percent d i'm going to provide some particular age so let's say my age is 25 over here so i'll provide this number that is 25 as the second parameter and then we will have a semicolon so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now what we should expect on the third line is my age is it should be replaced by 25 this person t so let me just open this file once again now after running this so as you can see my age is 25 now so instead of having this direct number we can have some variable as well so let's say if i provide a variable over here as age so we have int age it is equal to let's say your age is 21 over here in this case and then we provide semicolon so over here we can simply provide the variable name that is age so i'll just copy this and paste this over here in instead of 25 so your age will be displayed so basically what we are doing is i will print my age is and then this person d the value will be taken from this parameter that is age which is right now 21 so let me just save this file and try running this code now so we have fired written successfully that is the confirmation message and then we will go to the output file as you can see my age is 21 so 21 is getting printed so guys this variable can be anything it can be a user input as well or it can be a value that is coming from another function as well so it depends on your requirement what you want to have the value as so the main important thing over here is using the printf you can have the formatted string being printed and stored in an external file or any other output string so guys these were some of the functionalities of the print writer class apart from this you can have many other methods as you can see while you provide the object name followed by dot as you can see there are multiple other methods that can be used based on your requirements so guys practice on your own use different methods and see how the output looks like so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java java scanner class with the help of examples and we are going to see how we can read a user input from console